that it. It is a shame to have to scrap such cool old machinery, but lots of lots of little goodies in it. I wish I could keep that. 20 horsepower DC. Too big though. Heater bands, controls. It works. Come Chen. Oh, and did I mention we actually have a shredder? <laughs> two motors, two shaft. Make sure there's no metal in it. Uh, 
don't know what this evil looking thing's supposed to be, but it's going. <laughs> oh god, that's crazy. <laughs> oh no. That's scarily lifelike. <laughs> Whose toys were those? Fuck it if we know. <laughs> they're probably, they're not, they're not supposed to be here, so they're gone now. <laughs> now I've got all this mess to clean out of it. <laughs> That's alright, the thing is completely clogged with crap. Here we go. Oh, that's too hot. Let's turn the heaters off. Alright, heat's cut. Look at that. <laughs> this is not recommended in the manual. Wow. That's what you call a hot dripping mess. Yeah, never try and take a loaded screw out, especially with nylon on it. Polyethylene, polypropylene, they melt fairly low temperature and they don't spit and carry on. But this thing is hissing and spitting like a very angry snake. That is not good. <laughs> but I got it though. Now I've got to wire brush all this off before it goes too cold. Thought she was dialed in. Yeah, I thought I had it, but I managed to blow apart the rabbit and the big ducky. Ooh, that barrel's getting nice and toasty. <laughs> you put nearly 50 rounds through it already. <laughs> nah, they just smacked into the bank. Yeah, I got the just up careful down. aimed shots, don't rush them. I got the up down bit good. They're going low. Yeah, grab your lunch. Sorry? Grab your lunch. Yeah, wind the wheels up, slide that round on it, and wind the wheels Yep, we'll be ready to go. Uh, here, you, here you have our super accurate way of lining it up. <laughs> this one here is out pretty bad anyway, but yeah, just sight down. The center, center axis of the barrel. And there's a center mark on these blocks that are just cent centralized on the rails and there you go. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> now all I've got to do wind these wheels back up again with the little drive shaft I made up or machined and uh, slide the track which is somewhere uh, underneath and then wind the wheels down onto the track and it's set very good yeah, there's a second one Set in. Sort of like that one. So you got extruder, die head, cooling, um, control, pull off, and then cut to length. Easy. Controls are fairly reasonable. They are Siemens PLCs, ABV VFD. Um, that's a little bit I've got to put in, that's a uh, auto. Um, some of the contactors have already died. You can see the SSRs carefully screwed in there. No heat sink. Um, I'd like to change that. Get a bit of heat sink bar and fit that in there. Um, that's a bit of a worry. That's, that's the mains in, right there. No heat shrink, no lugs. Not nice. It's on a plug lead too. So you've got these big thick bundles coming off here and then you've just got this little 20 amp plug, plug ended lead like that going in cabinet fans are short circuited every time I try and turn them on bang breaker goes so need to get rid of these uh, one hung low generic China works fans and uh, put something reliable in there yeah there's a die head pressure transducer we don't use that hmm. anyway better get back to